One of my chromosomes is chopped in half. I have half a chromosome missing. It did make me feel less woman-like. I'm four foot nine, but with six foot energy, I'm definitely not shy. <laughs> My first memory of singing, I was eight years old. I joined my school's choir, I was the youngest member. I didn't necessarily feel different at the beginning. I felt like every average kid. I did notice I was shorter than my backpack being bigger than I was. We went back and forth between GPs and eventually I discovered I had Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome is a chromosomal disorder. It comes in a lot of different variants. Your chromosomes can multiply or they can delete. But with my particular type, I have half a chromosome missing. You can get external and internal symptoms. So for example, you can have like webbed or wide neck, um, low set ears. Um, for me in particular, one of my physical symptoms turned up fingernails. You can also internally have like heart issues, so blockages of your arteries. You might have problems with your valve. I was diagnosed with blockage in my main artery. It was a very unusual situation. Certain veins had grown to compensate for the main artery. I saw the image and basically saw all these extra veins hanging around my heart. Kind of like Medusa's head. I had my first heart surgery when I was nine. That was to place a stent. It was the start of the long journey and I was very lucky that that first surgery went as smooth as it could have gone. When I was diagnosed with Turner's, I then started growth hormones. Most people who take it start as a baby and so they grow to be around, say, five, six. Whereas because I started it at nine years old, I grew to be four foot nine. <laughs> I always like to say I am four foot nine with six foot energy. I'm very feisty, I carry it well. But for me, it took a bit of a long time to own it at the beginning. So puberty was definitely very difficult. I had to take all these different hormones to make it happen. I started estrogen when I was 13 and then progesterone when I was 16 to get my menstrual cycle. It did make me feel less woman-like. I would have comments on my chest area that it wasn't big enough. Definitely stung, especially when it came from people who I thought were close to me. I proceeded to have another five heart surgeries over my teenage years. Keyhole procedures, basically maintenance on the scent to ensure that it was expanding whilst I was growing. Every few weeks I was up for an appointment or I was in a clinic or it might be once or twice a year I had a surgery. I felt very disconnected from my peers, being absent so much. Having those relationships and maintaining them was difficult and then not understanding what I was going through and me sort of finding it hard to share. With the hospital as my second home, singing definitely took on a more important role. It gave me a way to discreetly put out what I'm feeling into the world without it being so overwhelming and scary. I remember hopping on the stage for the first time and I remember just loving it. I remember feeling like I'd found a home. Started doing a Steadfords and had the lead in a musical and then as things started to settle down with Turner's in terms of the cardiology side, I was very grateful to get to just embrace music. My biggest dreams, I want to be a recording artist. The love is dead.
In terms of where I'm at now with Turners, it's a pretty good point in my journey. I'm the best I've been mentally, physically, health-wise. I've gotten clearance with my cardiologist and don't have to see him as often now. I do hope that I can show people with Turners what's possible. One piece of advice I would have is don't be afraid to chase your dreams and to reach out and really lean on those who support you. Those positive things are going to be the best things to get you through it and the people who want to be there will. Thank you.